Imagine what it's like over a distance of 20 kilometers. The athlete explains that this is a sport that tests your nai li, your endurance, and your yi li, your willpower. Now we often see the word li, strength, used to describe the ability to do something. For example, neng li, ability, or for instance, xiang xiang li, creativity. Here it's nai li, endurance, and yi li, willpower. To have to maintain that pace over 20 kilometers is something worthy of jing pei, admiration. Jing pei, that's to admire something. Okay, let's stop there for a moment now and talk a bit more about race walking. Well, race walking is a long distance event in the sport of athletics. Although the idea is to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible on two legs, race walking is quite different from the sport of running. Now, there are two rules that govern race walking. The first dictates that one foot must be in contact with the ground at all times. Violating this rule is known as lifting. The second rule requires that the supporting leg must straighten from the point of contact with the ground and remain straight until the body has passed over it. Athletes stay low to the ground by keeping their arms pumping low, close to their hips. Now, what appears to be an exaggerated swivel to the hip is in fact a full rotation of the pelvis. Athletes aim to move the pelvis forward and to minimize sideways motion in order to achieve maximum forward movement. Now, since the distance of one pace, that's what we call the bu chang in Chinese, the distance of one pace, bu chang, since that's limited, speed is achieved by increasing the frequency of the pace, bu pin, that's the frequency of the pace, bu pin. Strides are short and quick, with push-off coming forward from the ball of the foot, again, to minimize the risk of lifting off the ground. Now, race walking first appeared in the modern Olympics in 1904 as a half-mile walk in the all-rounder, that's the precursor to the modern decathlon. The women's race walk became an Olympic event only in 1992. In today's Olympics, there are distances of 20 kilometers for both men and women, and 50 kilometers for men only. Now let's take a closer look at some of the vocabulary that came up in today's dialogue. To do that, we have with us a special guest from the United States, Mandy. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Nai li. Nai li. Endurance. So we've seen before, li is often used to indicate an ability or a, um, uh, the power to do something. Nai, endurance. Nai li, endurance, the ability to endure. Nai li. Nai li. Here's another ability. Yi li. Yi li. That's your willpower. Li. Mm. Can you make a sentence with yi li? Mm. It takes a lot of willpower to quit smoking. That's right. 戒烟, to quit smoking needs a lot of yi li, willpower. Now here's one of the most important things in the uh, race walking, and that's the length of your pace. 不长. 不长. So as I just said, bu is one pace. So the length of your pace. 不长. 不长. The other important element in race walking is your bu pin. Bu pin. That's the pace of your steps. So bu is the pace, pin is the frequency. Mm. For instance, a radio frequency would be pin lu. That's the frequency. Bu pin. That's how fast you take one pace. Bu pin. Let's take a moment now to look in a little bit more detail at a few of the language points that we came across in today's dialogue. Here's a colloquial expression, nar gan nar. Now this is used to express disagreement or even exasperation with something that's just been said, usually in a friendly manner. For example, 这是竞走,不是走路。你说的这是哪儿跟哪儿? This is race walking, not ordinary walking. What are you talking about? So here, Nargan would be like saying, What are you talking about? 
你不会连王治郅和姚明都分不清吧？<笑>好像是的，这明明是皮艇，不是滑艇，这都哪跟哪儿啊？是吗？我一直分不太清。好好 is an adverb to express doing a good job of something, get it done properly, do it well. Now, as we've noted before, the how character, the second one, is pronounced in the first tone. So, how how, for example. 你好好想想，到底把球拍放哪儿了 ？Think carefully. Where did you put the racket in the end? 好好想想 ，think carefully. 这个入水动作你还得好好练练。好的，我明白。明天还有比赛，你今天最好抓紧时间好好休息。我一会儿就去睡觉。除了 something why。Is an expression we use to express the idea of apart from something or except something. 今天除了二传手外，大家都可以去休息了。Today, everybody except the setter can take a rest. 二传手 is the setter in volleyball. Today, everybody except the setter can take a rest. 你除了打过二传手外，还打过哪些位置？我还打过主攻手。这件事除了你知道外，还有别人知道吗？没有了。That's the end of today's program. Now we do run through these language lessons very quickly. So if you'd like a little bit more time to review, or you missed any of the previous episodes, remember you can always go to our website at english.cctv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you here next time on Sports Chinese.